Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FPL Now. Today we're going to be going over my final thoughts for game week 19. So if you are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 35 likes. Leave a comment. What are you doing with Salah? Are you free hitting? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, as of right now, this is my game week 19 team. So quite a few problems obviously triple liverpool and i do have sissoko and as well as that this doesn't affect my team uh, but if you didn't know at the point i'm recording this it is just being confirmed that the burnley everton game is also off i mean if a game was going to get postponed you'd probably want it to be that one because there's not many people out there that have burnley or everton players um and that game would have been boring to watch anyway probably would have finished nil nil or something like that so either way that game is off now um so for the people that was thinking about bringing in calvert lewin you can't he's he's not playing so um yeah if you didn't know that if you do have everton burnley players then of course that's even worse news for you um but the majority of managers do not have any players from those teams um i know a couple of people do have like a loton or someone like that you know like a quite a cheap defender um which would have been on the free hits and stuff like that but yeah you're gonna have to think of somebody else now unfortunately um so i am gonna be free hitting this week um but i've not activated the chip yet i will be activating the chip on sunday on boxing day just in case we do have any more postponements and as well as that if the whole game week just gets cancelled i don't want to waste my free hit um so if you are gonna free hit don't do it yet i know there's gonna be price rises and stuff but at the end of the day if you don't have to if you're not gonna get like price locked out of um players don't activate your chip until Sunday um, because, like I say, if the game week does get called off, which, again, it is a high possibility, um, then you're going to just lose your free... Well, you're not going to lose your free hit, but you're going to have it for when everyone plays again, but you don't really need it then because everyone will be back. Um, but anyway, uh, today we're obviously going to talk about quite a few different things like who to captain, what to do with Salah, uh, whether you should bring in Sun, whether you should bring in Ronaldo, everyone like that. But as of right now, as I said, this is my team and I am going to be free hitting. So I do obviously have Trent not playing, Salah not playing, Jota not playing. I have Sissoko not playing on my bench. Honestly, it's not the worst position in the world. Um, people have it worse. Like what I could do is just um, obviously play Rudiger. Um, so let me just uh, switch Trent out with Rudiger. What I could do is do that. And then I only have two players there that aren't playing. I'd probably use my free transfer on Salah to bring Sun in. Um, and then to be fair, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world fielding 10 players. But again, um, more things could happen like Antonio might not play. Um, the Chelsea game could also be off uh, is quite likely because I think Villa had quite a big outbreak. So if that game, uh, game gets postponed as well, that's another two players I wouldn't have. Um, again, like I say, I haven't used my free hit yet. So if things do change, um, then obviously I'm okay with that. But at the end of the day, it looks like I'm going to be using my free hit at this point in time. Um, so yeah, that would be like the team that I'd be going in with, um, which again, I'm not really happy about, which is why it is nice to have that free hit option. So yeah, that is my team going into game week 19. De Gea in goal, Rudiger, James, Cancelo, White, Foden, Bernardo Silva, uh, Salah and Jota not playing, obviously would bring Son in for Salah, uh, and then Watkins and Antonio. So um, as, we, as we all know, Salah is a player that is going to be heavily sold this week but should you sell him that's the big question should you sh uh, should you sell salah for the likes of sun and then what would you do with ronaldo as well do you need to bring him in as well um there are a lot of things that need answering in this final thoughts video so um first off what to do with salah um so if you don't have your free hit and, and you obviously need to do something with him um it's not the worst idea to sell him as of right now so of course he's not playing this week against leeds uh, obviously, Leicester away is a big fixture that you do want him for because Leicester is just not playing very well at the moment. But then, obviously, you have him for Chelsea, which, again, he could score in that game. But it's not like the worst fixture um, to miss out on. You know, he could easily score against Chelsea. You know, he's only blanked twice this season so far. He scored a worldie against City. It could happen against Chelsea. Um, but then, obviously, he's off to AFCON in game week 22 and 23. So, really... Um, the only problem is Leicester away. Like, of course, everyone is going to heavily captain him that game week. Um, and rightfully that, rightfully so, you know, he's probably going to score in that game. But then Chelsea, again, he could score. But I think Son would also outscore him in that game week. And then he's not going to be here for game week 22 and 23. And then just bring him back in game week 24 when he has Leicester at home and then Burnley Norwich. Now, of course, the Leeds uh, game will probably be... Um, in game week 22 when loads of teams are doubling up and having double game weeks but again you won't have Salah for that game week so if you were going to triple captain him 
he's not going to be in the UK at that point regardless. So again, triple captain in that week could be someone like Trent or someone instead if you weren't going to free hit, you weren't going to bench boost. I think Trent is a decent option. Like Leeds are, and Brent, like Leeds are home and then Brentford are home. Like that's probably going to be two clean sheets. Well, I say that, but Brentford obviously scored quite a few against Liverpool last time. But you know what I mean? Like at Anfield, it's a different atmosphere. Um, and, and then obviously Leeds who are playing poorly at the moment as well. That's like two really, really nice fixtures. So obviously if Salah was in the UK, everybody, everybody would be triple captain in that week because it's just a ridiculous set of fixtures. Um, but apart from that, yeah. So it's really one of those situations where do you gamble it? Do you not have him for Leicester where everyone's going to captain him? Um, and then hopefully he doesn't do too much damage and then hope that someone like Sun or someone um, scores just as many or outscores him. The Chelsea game again is a little bit less of a worry uh, and then of course he's not here for the game week 22 and 23 because Sun I do believe um, has some quite nice fixtures coming up um, which of course a lot of people are bringing him in um, for that reason. If I just add in Sun here he has um, Crystal Palace this week and then obviously in game week 20 yeah, Southampton so when Salah is playing Leicester um, Son will have Southampton which again isn't a bad fixture and then when um, Salah has Chelsea Son will have Watford at home uh, Watford away should I say um, which again is a much better fixture like that's easily captain's uh captaincy in that game uh what for the way is a really really nice fixture for sun and then they have arsenal which is the derby anything can happen in that game chelsea away okay isn't great um but then obviously you're just going to bring salah back in anyway um around game week 24. the only problem is as well you will be losing a little bit of money on salah like he's probably gonna have a price drop like he's 13.1 now i do believe um and you probably brought him in for 12.5 you'll sell him for 12.8 um and then you'll have to It'll probably be around 13, 12.9 by the time it hits back to game week 24. Um, so, yeah, you'd have to shill out another like 0.1, 0.2 or something. Uh, but you'll be able to get him back relatively easily. So it is the decision of do you want to have him um, for the Leicester game and miss game week 19? Or do you just want to get rid of him and then bring him back after AFCON? Um, of course, Jota is another player that I wouldn't really recommend getting rid of because Jota is a player that is going to play um, in that double game week, in game week 22, Brentford and Leeds, if it does go ahead. Um, again, you're going to have him for Chelsea and stuff and Leicester. But yeah, when Salah and Mane go after AFCON, um, that is going to be a huge game week for Jota. And I think a lot of people might be even triple captaining Jota in that week, um, which again, I wouldn't think is a bad idea. I think that is a, a decent little shout as well. So um, I don't think Jota is someone that any, you should really think about getting rid of because he is going to be a player that you want to bring back in. And it's just going to save you two transfers on down the line. Like, oh, you're obviously going to have to transfer him out this week and then use another transfer down the line to bring him back in. And he's not the most expensive player as well. You'd probably be able to bench him this week and get away with it. Um, but then there's also Trent as well, who is another player who's very expensive, 8.3, who, again, you'd have to bench this week. Like, he's another player you're going to want to have back in for game week 22. So if you were going to get rid of Jota, Salah, and um, Trent, you know, that's going to be just transfer after transfer. You're going to be taking loads and loads of hits. Um, of course, if you are on your free hit, it's very easy. And again, I'm not going to be making a free hit team in this video. I just did that um, yesterday. So if you want to go check that out, uh, make sure to. Uh, of course, I think I had, I don't think I had any Everton or Burnley players in that um, free hit. So you don't have to worry about that with that postponement. Um, so yeah, Trent, Jota, Salah. I think... Um, I think it's okay to sell him personally. I don't think it's the worst decision. Again, this is just me saying if you want to do something different, then obviously that's absolutely fine. But I just think Salah versus Son over the next three. Salah has nobody, then Leicester away, then Chelsea. And then Son has, uh, what, Watford, Southampton, and Crystal Palace. Um, not in that order, but I, I think that Son probably outscores Salah over the next three. Um, the other problem is obviously Ronaldo. A lot of people on free hits are going to be bringing in Ronaldo this week, um, who is quite expensive and a lot of people can't get to him. So you're going to be taking a hit, um, probably taking Salah out to Sun and then most people are going to have Lacazette and they'll get rid of him for Ronaldo. Um, because again, if you don't have Ronaldo, he's going to be heavily captain this week. He's at Newcastle, um, which is a really, really nice fixture. Um, so yeah, who do you captain this week? I, I guess if, if you can't bring in Ronaldo, I guess you just go with Son. But everybody on the free hit is going to be bringing in Son and going to have Ronaldo captain. So yes, even if Son scores, you will get, you know, 10 points. Most people on the free hit will also get five, but they'll also get whatever Ronaldo does. So it is the situation where you're going to have to be taking quite a few hits to get in Ronaldo if you can't afford him. Um, and then again, if another game gets postponed, it, it's just a whole lot of bad at the moment. So um, yeah, honestly, a lot of people I think are going to be getting rid of Salah this week, and I completely understand why. It's just, 
I don't know, man. I just can't see myself selling Salah ever. Like, I just, I'd feel bad selling him. Um, to be fair, when he goes after, goes off to Afcon, I will probably sell him. I'm probably going to sell him in game week 21 away at Chelsea. So I'm going to keep him for Leicester. So I'm free hitting this week. I'm going to keep him for Leicester. Sell him um, for Son in game week 21 when he has Watford away. Captain Son that week, um, and then not obviously spend any of the money and then just bring him back in because I do have 0 0.4 in the bank, so I'll be able to bring him back in regardless. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably what I'm going to do um, with with my team, and I'm going to keep obviously Jota and Trent because their fixtures are just really really nice, um, especially game week 22 where they probably will double up again. That's not confirmed, but they probably will double up in that game week. Um, at the moment, again, there's no other postponements. There's still six games going ahead on Boxing Day, but I think the Chelsea game is heavily rumored to be um, postponed just because of the Villa COVID outbreak that, that's been going on um, at Villa Park. So. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything too much to talk about else. Um, I haven't really gone into detail about... I mean, I have, but I haven't. Like, I've not really said what... I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to do with Salah. Like, at the end of the day, it's your decision. I just think if you don't have a free hit this week, I don't think it's the end of the world selling him. Because, yeah, Leicester away is going to be a tough fixture to watch. But then he has Chelsea whereas Son has Watford and then you don't have to worry about taking Salah out any of these game weeks you've already done it uh, and then you can just bring him back in in game week 24 when he has Leicester at home then Burnley then Norwich um, which again is a really really nice run of fixtures for Salah especially that Norwich game like that's going to be really really nice um, and if you do have your free hit like I do I'm gonna like I say I think get rid of him uh, game week 22 is uh, game week 21 should I say is absolutely fine as well like Chelsea away he can score in that game but I just think that Son at Watford is a better option you know I, I think he's hopefully going to outscore him in that game so that's my kind of i don't know vision about it again you might think differently you might not even want to get rid of Salah. you might want to keep him for afcon i don't recommend it because you know it's a lot of money on your bench and sun's right there that you can easily just downgrade to um so yeah in, in regards to trent and jota again if, if you're not on a free hit i would advise keeping them because you don't want to be wasting transfers getting rid of them and then just bringing them back in a few week game, a game weeks later if you can field like 10 players with taking a hit then i think you're fine honestly um again if more games get called off then that might be a bit of a different situation but as of right now as long as you can field t uh, 10 players taking a hit i think is absolutely fine when you get to the stage we're taking a minus eight for 10 players taking a minus 12 for 10 players that's a little bit it, you, at the end of the day as well like you got to think that when you take a hit for a player that's not going to play, like let's say you're taking a hit for um, for Salah, who's not going to play, and then you bring in Sun for him, it's not at the it's not a minus four, like it is, but it's technically only a minus two because even if Sun does absolutely nothing and he just comes out with two points, you know you wouldn't have got any points from that uh, from Salah, so you take four off him, but then you get two back from Sun, so it's only a minus two, and then anything that he does scoring or anything like that, assisting or even a clean sheet bonus for that. For that matter he's gonna make points um so it's not the worst situation in the world i think taking a hit this week but you know they do add up a lot if you have been in a bad situation you used your free hit ages ago and you've having to take hits every single week because of covid and stuff then yes it does add up um but there's not too much you can do about it you kind of just have to play with what you have um and then for ronaldo like i say if you if you are bringing in ronaldo you're taking a hit to take out salah to sun then you bring in ronaldo i think that's the move this week i think if you have lacazette and salah i think salah down to sun and then lacazette up to ronaldo if you have the money is the move but again that's still not like confirmed to like give you the money like lacazette's what like 8.4 or whatever 8.3 8.4 ronaldo's like 12.5 so you gotta find like four mil from somewhere um, so if you don't have that money in your bank, you're going to have to take hits elsewhere. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe you just have to hope that Ronaldo doesn't go crazy against Newcastle, which, again, he easily could. He's had a long-ass rest. So is the rest of the United squad. They're going to be fit and ready to go. Um, it, it's just going to be one of those things. So either way, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out a little bit with any decisions that you're thinking about. Salah, Jota, Trent, Ronaldo. Um, for the likes of like City players and stuff, I mean, if you do have Foden, he's just a hold right now. You shouldn't be thinking of getting getting rid of him for a player that potentially could play you don't want to be getting rid of him because um you're going to take a hit to get him out or whatever um and you really want to be taking hits to get out players that aren't going to be playing um so yeah as i say i've tripled up on c so if that game doesn't go ahead i'm screwed um but it will go ahead anyway because leicester literally played midweek they'll be fine um and i think every yeah no never mind i'm talking nonsense 
Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic Christmas, by the way. I'm not going to be uploading tomorrow um, because it's Christmas Day. Um, I probably won't be uploading Boxing Day either. So, yeah, I probably won't upload till Monday. So, we'll see what happens. I wish you all the best with this game week, though. It's, it's a tough one. And again, have a fantastic Christmas. Thank you all for the support. And I really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time.